All right, guys, let's get to it. Three, two, one. Top, 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 top hill episode. 140. Let's go. Let's go, man. Welcome to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. Hold on, let me get a round of applause. Hold on. 140. Another one. Another one. Welcome to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Top Hill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boss. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. Yes, man. And we got another special episode for you guys today. We got a special guest in the building. Everybody, welcome Jazz into the building. Let's go, let's go. Give a round of applause. Let's Good. How you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? I'm doing really good. Doing really good. Y'all know I love when my friends are in the building. Right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me so happy. It's gonna be some good energy. Leave Hold up. Alone. No sponsors. No Just free sponsorships. Look. Come on now. Oh, the back of the label. Okay. Y'all, y'all know what kind of y'all, y'all know what kind of time we on today, man. Y'all already know. I'm not on that type of time. Just in case anybody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so another reason why I played a ludicrous record that Jamila just was not feeling, man. Uh, Fast and Furious 10 came out. Um, this weekend. I'm not gonna lie. Was it good? It was really good. It exceeded all my expectations. I ain't gonna hold you. And um Did you guys just see all the other ones to know what was going on in this one? Yes. She's yes. not gonna watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen the Fast and Furious other? Like I've seen some of them. What the fuck? You don't she doesn't like movies. movies. She doesn't watch movies. Like I can tell but like But even still that's a lot. Nine and now ten? That's like that's excessive. It's a good saga. You got time. You can make time for this. Some of them wasn't that good on my way up to halfway up anyway. There was there was some misses, but it was, and that's where you, they fucked up. But the the misses was like me. the misses was like seven and eight maybe. No, not seven. Seven was crazy. Eight and nine were kind of misses. It was only two misses, and that was at the tail end. Like the first is a classic. Second is a classic. Mm-hmm. Classics. I, I got through those. Tokyo Drift. That's the cult classic. Like if you know what it is. The fourth one is my favorite. Hold on, people don't know what Tokyo Drift is. A lot of people didn't pick it up because, like, chronologically, it comes technically after okay. the sixth one. But, but it, it came, came out, out. <laughs> right? It, it, but it came, it came out early. But a lot of people didn't know that that was a Fast and Furious movie for real, what? for real, until then. Diesel what, pulled what up at the end. Yeah, that don't. I wonder if you know. She was saying that like a week or so. What were we doing? We were at uh, Kobe's. Mm. So what's your favorite Fast and Furious movie I've that you remember? I've seen a couple of them. Shit. One, two, three was good. Four. Four was the best one to me. Five, that's when uh The Rock came in. Yeah, in I remember that happening. So I'm going to my memory. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, if you if you were to just watch no. Fast Five, if you were to just watch Fast Five, you'll be fine. Because it tied a lot into the Fast Five movie. And I'm not saying movie. I didn't see them. I'm just saying like the way I retain information. Mm-hmm. Me in a movie. Mm-hmm. I can walk in a movie theater and walk right out and forget what I just watched. I would just mm-hmm. make mental note like if I liked it or not. Well, like if you refresh my memory, I don't. I'm not sitting there taking like note of the movie. I'm like literally mm-hmm. watching it and enjoying it in that moment, and mm-hmm. then I'm just like, eh. Okay, if you if you at least seen Fast Five, this movie does a lot of like callbacks to it, and they actually show you, you know, what's going on in Fast Five too to like keep you up to date. Okay. So like you, you'll be fine as long as you've seen that one, you'll be alright. But I'm not gonna lie, like this, this was this was like really spontaneous. And this is what I love about being single, right? Like I could just do whatever the fuck I want to do, whenever the fuck I want to do it. That's right. That shit feel amazing. Like I was just sitting in my house, I was you know cleaning up and stuff like that, and I I seen the uh, commercials like, oh shit, Fast and Furious is out. Shit, I'm gonna go see that fucking movie. And I enjoy going to the movies by myself. I'm not gonna lie, like there's peaceful, peaceful to yourself. You know what I mean, like. Get your own snacks, Nobody sneaking in, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, trying to talk to you during the movie. Oh, and, and I shit. can't stand, yo, I cannot stand somebody that try to talk to me you during the fucking like movie. You look like you're serious about that. I'm dead. I paid money for this. <laughs> what the fuck we talking about? Shut and the you fuck probably up. paid shut money for that one too. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, like, don't wear me. I don't think it's like, hey, what's going on? Do you know what's happening right now? Shut the like, fuck like, up. Like, doing that. Yes, they do. Yes, the fuck they do. They just doing it in John Wick 4, let me tell you. Look it. Right Niggas be asking what the hell's going on like you're not watching the same thing I'm watching. Like, come on, man. <laughs> it makes sense. Because the stories be <laughs> Bruh. But anyway. <laughs> just... I'm about to spoil everything. Sorry, like, nah. Please don't. Please don't. Do I need to watch it. Please don't. Hey, uh, all right. So, my take on it, no spoiler, you know, review. This is a 9 out of 10 movie. This is okay. my favorite movie that came out this year so far. Okay. 
Um, it, to me, slightly better than the Guardians movie. You know, I'm a big Marvel, Marvel fan. So. Something better than Marvel. Yeah, I'll, I'll give Guardians of the Galaxy an 8. I'll give this a 9. Okay, what could have made it a 10? What could have made it a what was this? Mm, there's some. I mean, they're always going to have questionable shit that happens in the movie because it's a okay. Fast and Furious movie now. But I like the way that how they kind of lean into the jokes of like, you know, this nigga be fucking pulling helicopters together with his car and be jumping from island to island. He be doing all kind of wild shit with the cars now. You know what I mean? But they lean into that kind of like crazy shit. Um, a lot of surprises on here. The end credit scene brought me all the way to that that was like ice cream whipped cream and cherry i'm not gonna lie like i was very happy to see the end credit scene makes me look forward to what's coming next this is actually the first of a uh three-part series so they still going they're still going, <laughs> <laughs> they're still going. she so, said be done with it no <laughs> that's what she's thinking i thought i should be happy for them but it just said it's a lot going on it, it, this is going to be the ending this is this is the last three one. three part ending. three part ending. successive yeah but i'm not gonna lie um, the main villain of the movie, Jason Momoa, y'all might know him as Aquaman. Mm-hmm. All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Um, he did a really good job. I, at first, I was kind of like fatigued from all the new Fast and Furious, like super spy movies and stuff like that, how they created the villains. Like they all seem the same. This this villain was actually a lot different. It was kind of like a fresher breath, uh, breath of fresh air to have a different kind of villain for this film. He reminded me a lot of the Joker a little bit in that kind of uh, manner, like, Mm -hmm. which made the, it really made the film really, really dope. Um, Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Okay. It was a great ride. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to have to go back. She ain't going to do it. What's your mind? Why didn't you lie to me? I did it to Marvel. You're still going. What movie you have in Marvel right now? I'm up there, though. Thank God they slowed down a bit. Which one you want? Yeah, thank God. I said, God, it felt like I was not getting through it. It's like, I looked, I was like, oh, phase one. Okay, girl. Okay. Phase three. And it's just like, whew. It became an uphill battle after that. I think the last time we checked with you, I think you was at Infinity War. Did you you get past Infinity War? Probably like two or three more. It's been tough. And if, I, what? If it was the best one, no, I'm just saying, like, just in regards to watching the same kind of TV, it's like it's a lot. It's a lot in. to take in. Mm-hmm. I get it. Okay. It's ours. Switch it up. Switch it up. Yeah, got to switch it up, and then got to come back to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. well, I'm gonna see about this fast episode. We spent way too much time on that. No, <laughs> that, that's like that's one of my legacy movies right there. Like growing up, like growing up watching Fast and Furious, that was my shit. You know what I mean? I was in the car club and all that shit too. Like I oh, love Fast Talk. Yo, coming out the movie theater, you would be speeding like shit. Like every single time, like I mean, I already speed. I know, I know, I know. That's gonna make me think I got a Hemi. Hey, um, shout out to the, shout out to the Hemi gang, man. I miss mine. Um, all right. Top, hill, top, hill, top. Hell.